my beautiful Capricorn. How are we? Welcome back to Lion Gates Heart Tarot. This is your May part one read. Please only take what resonates as per usual. If it's not your read, it's not. So what I'm going to do is take two overarching energies and then we're going to get into tarot. So thank you for all your likes, subscribes, um, your donations even. Honestly, it just enables me to be here. I so appreciate it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so because we're a new channel and we get lost in the abyss. So what do we have for our beautiful, beautiful Capricorns, please? Angel Spirit Guides, what do we have? Thank you. We have two guys. We have birth. Universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility. And we have fire. Let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. Live in the now. Live in the now. Set yourself free. Beautiful and birth. Oh, little baby hand. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And we'll just take you an overarching animal oracle, my beautiful Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn, Angel Spirit Guide? We have turtle. Protection. You are a master of finding life's flow. Be in harmony with the rhythm and your path will unfold. Persevere and you will succeed. You have everything you need to be protected and happy. Beautiful. Thank you, Angel Spirit, guys. Right, let's get into the tarot. Can I have six cards, please, my beautiful Angel Spirit, guys, for our Capricorns? Thank you so much. That's past energies. That's good to see in the past. So what else do we... Right, thanks. <laughs> Rightio. Rightio. And may I have one more for our beautiful Capricorn, please. One more. Thank you so much. And we're ending with celebration. Celebrate the time. Come on. We've got the King of Wands in the bottom. So you're manifesting something amazing. Right. The Ten of Swords, please. Ten of Swords. Some more information. Thank you so much. You've needed your inner strength. What for? A bit more. Okay. A cup of love. And, okay, Empress, please, Empress, Two of Cups, beautiful, Ace of Wands, beautiful, what else, this is in the current, we're loving this, we're loving this, going to Carmel Waters, that's amazing, the Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords, a bit more info please guys. You've been blindsided by something moving forward and it's caused you to feel a bit but what else do we need to see what else throw them out guys ah the new cycle Ooh, got you okay seven of ones then please whoa choices celebration the two of swords please thank you so much Hangman, okay, gaining your clarity and do, 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 beautiful foundation. And you're going to get it in her map. And the outcome, the three of cups. What else? What else? Wowzers. Okie dokie. And at the bottom we have the King of Cups, so it's balancing those emotions out. Right, my beautiful Capricorn, I'm going to grab my cuppa, take a seat, and we shall begin. Okay, my beautiful Capricorn, we're starting with the past energies, and we're starting with the Ten of Swords. This tells me that you hit rock bottom, this is in the past, okay? Negativity is actually now complete, but it's like you've been angry and frustrated in a situation, um, and it's caused you to feel stabbed in the back, and the low frequency energy. You've used your inner strength, which has been very, very hard. As you can see, she wears the infinity symbol above her head. She's holding the lion's mouth open. This is where you gain your inner strength from, okay? Achieving control over the situation which is absolutely awesome and this could be to do with a knight of cups the knight of cups is a cup of love coming into you this is love in all senses it's a mission of love that you're working towards and it can be it's telling me that it can if it's a knight is himself it can be somebody who's over emotional which has caused you to need your inner strength because this over emotional energy 
it's sort of sent your frequency down is the nicest way to put it so this could be a partner because with the nine of cups in reverse it can talk about a partner feeling neglected in a situation so this could be you feeling neglected in a situation which has caused the ten of swords energy you've needed your inner strength with your partner because you're feeling neglected and unloved in a situation and that is the past energies now we're going to present energies my beautiful capricorn we have the empress as your main card clarified with the two of cups the ace of wands and the six of swords so it's a change in vibration the empress is absolutely beautiful it's the mother energy um she is nurturing she's kind she's compassionate she's comfort and security mostly within a relationship this could be very much your energy because you're the top card to me so this this is you basically um male female it absolutely doesn't matter i don't read sexes i read energy so you are the empress as in the love of the home if that makes sense you're like the nurturer you're the kindness you're the compassion and she ru rules venus so she's very much love energy now we have the two of cups we have the ace of wands and we have the six of swords so whatever vibration was here and that you were feeling neglected in a situation the dynamics are changing considerably we're going to two of cups energy this is soulmate energy okay this is love it's passion opposites attracting it's connection it's when you both become one so what working through the darkness you've got a transmutation of energy here which is absolutely amazing to see this is something you've manifested and the universe has had your back on you know you're creating a new reality together and that's absolutely phenomenal to see with the ace of wands new beginnings um new creative energy and it's enterprises it's the action card and it's having confidence and enthusiasm in a situation it's moving you to karma waters with the six of swords it's absolutely beautiful to see in that transmutation of energy you know life is not always easy life if you said life was easy and, and full of roses and buttercups we'd be lying to ourselves it's journeying through the darkness and you know if in a relationship you go through trying times it's getting through those trying times together actually makes you stronger and that transmutation of energy i can see here and it's leaving with fire it's leaving that past and that darkness behind you let go of the emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present this is your present you need to let go of this situation because you're moving to karma waters birth universal energy brings opportunities and possibility and you've got protection of this sea turtle you're a master of finding life's flow so do it be in harmony with the rhythm and your path will unfold. Persevere and you will succeed. You have everything you need to be protected and happy. So what it's saying to me with the oracle cards always tying beautifully to the tarot that you've been in this dark place and you're moving forward into the current situation going to calmer waters it's beautiful because the six of swords it's a brighter future moving to calmer waters and traveling forward okay it promises a journey and a fruitful and a truthful one which is absolutely gorgeous i'm really happy for you my beautiful capricorn we're then going to hidden influences at work so what it tells me here we've got the eight of swords with the eight of swords <laughs> because they're hilarious so you're moving forward and you've been blindfolded okay you feel trapped you've been trapped in a situation and powerless and you've been damned if you do damned if you don't but this is very much related to strength okay so it's telling me as here your inner strength and you'll triumph over it so you are moving forward on a journey you don't know but we're not meant to know everything right because life is full of surprises and it's a good surprise coming so don't worry it's journeying forward in the unknown blindfolded it's taking that leap of faith in your energy right and it's trusting in the universe that you're embarking upon this new path and this new journey forward and this new change of frequency let's put it that way and you you're blindfolded in a situation and you feel it's like a victim mentality state but get out of that because you've got those swords transmute the energy cut the energy and know your inner strength because you've absolutely got this the wheel of fortune is with you this is the turn for the better okay so that look is changing that it's the completion the rise and fall of karma the vibration is on your side look favors you in this situation it's destiny is coming in your favor and that is the hidden influence at work so your destiny the wheel of fortune it's it's like the cycle destiny is playing out and that's the influence that is the hidden influence at work then we're going to obstacles to overcome we we have the seven of wands with the seven of cups and the three of cups so 
The Seven of Wands is effort, but it's also mastery over the opposing forces. The old tarot is fantastic for seeing this. As you can see, the devil's there. She's got a back to him. She's just like, off your trot, mate. I'm not having this. She's got power. Okay, she's wearing that. She's powerful. And you are powerful in this situation. The obstacle to overcome is you believing in that power. Okay, you're turning your back on the darkness. Okay, which is absolutely phenomenal. That's mastery absolute mastery and it's you putting effort into something you're faced with challenges this is you achieving success but you're facing those opponents and you're not having any of it it's like a frequency when we say opponents I'm talking about energy I'm an energy channel right so you're turning your back on darkness and you're believing in the process so the obstacle is only there to overcome if you want that obstacle you have got choices which is probably what's upskilling your energy and you don't know which cup to drink from but trust your intuition you've grown my beautiful Capricorn trust your intuition moving forward and you will know which cup to drink from because choices can be illusions and you're like I don't know which is an illusion I don't know what you know your, your energy is upskilled and that's the obstacle here um but talk to your friends that's what I would say. Talk to your friends. They're people who love you and will celebrate with you. The how we change that vibrational frequency is it's telling me here you've got cups of love so see them see them, experience it, join with them, talk to them about this opportunity, talk to them about this growth and cycle and see what your friends say because when we share things it helps take the burden and if we speak our truth with them then it just helps and this is with people that you trust and love. The three of cups is beautiful energy, it's friendship okay it's community um it's va you value you having people you need to value your people there and trust that they can help you upon your quest and then we're going to what you should do we've got the two of swords that's clarified with hangman the ace of pentacles and the hermit so the two of swords are you blocking something are you blocking something um <sighs> Because the Two of Swords is, you can reject everything around you, but it also can represent balance, friendship in time of adversity. And we've got this here. So what it's saying is friendship in time of adversity needs to prevail because we've got the Three of Cups here again. So I would take that with this here as what you should do is get in touch. As you can see, the moon is now behind us. She has a spirit guide either side and her swords are placed down place those swords down you don't need to fight at this stage but maybe friends in time of adversity and an ally in which you can depend can help you make a decision logically and that's what it's very much saying to me here what you should do clarification in handman mode always always find your spiritual self between the material and the spiritual world it's amazing handman is where we gain our clarity moving forward and it works beautifully this is a new foundation coming in this is a foundation of whatever you love so obviously it's pentacles so it's a firm foundation in which to build and that can be building love that can be build building in monetary value so the ace of pentacles is the new seed to the material world it's the promise of the development moving forward okay so it's new opportunities absolutely and it's telling me that you need a little bit of healing with the hermit energy okay so if that's healing with your friends do it because with it being here this is your major card an ally in which you can depend heal with them talk speak speak your truth hermit is beautiful he seeks his inner light it is often solitude but at the same time it's returning to self what have you accomplished and what have you got to do okay it's it's finding that inner light and i believe that you can do it in that setting and then we're going to outcome again we've got the three of cups <laughs> So they're very much telling you that growth in love and friendship, you need to see people um, because you've been walking down a dimly lit path, not knowing but following your intuition. Going into moon energy, not quite knowing, you know the path will eventually become illuminated. Now, what it's saying to me here with the four of cups is it can mean boredom, but I, in this case, I believe it's do not miss the opportunity coming into you from the universe. You need to be aware. You are going to have a tower moment. I don't want you to worry. This is just the breaking down of the old ways. The tower must crumble in order to rebirth. It's the universe is breaking down the foundation to rebuild the foundation for a reason, and you need to trust that because it has to happen for a new beginning with the Knight of Pentacles. 
Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is, is the mission of the material gain and it's also a mission of the manifestation in which you've put into the universe and that frequency out there. He's hard working um, and he's more logical and calm. He likes, he's slow and steady and it can be a little bit frustrating. But the it's breaking down for a reason and this is to build this new. Now, at the bottom of one pack, we have the King of Wands. The King of Wands is the King of Energy. So he's the creation of the manifestation. He's the leader. He's the King of Energy. He inspires others. Um, event or a situation, He you need to develop balance and wisdom. So if this is in an event you need to remain balanced and use your inner wisdom in a scenario balance those emotions beautifully please with the king of cups the king of cups even on rocky waters he tries to maintain his balance and that's what it's saying to me here because we've got the six of swords it very much tells me you've been in rocky waters and you're going to calmer waters so maintain that balance and hold that cup of love more importantly obviously let go of the past universal energy brings you possibilities and sea turtle with protection you are protected so there you go my beautiful Capricorn that is your message for the first half of May I hope it finds you well if this is your read give me a thumbs up it's completely private leave me a message below I love connecting with your energy so thank you so much for joining me thank you for your like subscribes and until your part two check out your 48 hourly reads and your daily angel message it changes your vibrational frequency at the start of the day instead of watching the BS news love and light from me to you until next time bye bye for now